are you? Good, are you? How would you describe what it's been like coming to the Patriots? Uh, I would say just something new for me, for sure. Um, but nothing I can't get used to, but I'm starting to like it around here. What was it about the Patriots that appealed to you to want to come here as a free agent? Um, just a good opportunity for me to talk with my agent and my family. Uh, we just felt like it was like the right move for us. And um, I mean, when I got here talking to uh, Bill O'Brien and running back coach, it just seemed like a good fit for me. What? Well, what makes it different? Dramatically or just I mean, just possibly? playing against them when, it was, when I was with the Jets, playing against them just see like they like to run the ball. I mean, they got great backs, Ramondre and those other guys. I just like the way they do things around here. How do you see your skill set fitting in with this offense? Oh, I mean, right now, I'm just trying to really just keep working and getting better right now. I mean, going through the offense and all that right now, but really just working and getting stronger. So. What's been your impression of um, playing for Phil O'Brien so far? Uh, well, I mean, I haven't really played for him just yet. <laughs> I mean, I mean, but I, I think it'll be good. James, what was last season like for you, kind of bouncing around to a couple teams and trying to find a role? Um, I mean, I would say not ideal. I mean, it was – I don't really like moving around like that, but um, it's kind of hard just kind of find my role, really, and just do what I can for the team that I was on. So how much are you looking forward to the opportunity uh, to play with the Patriots after last season? Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait to get started and – can't wait for training camp to start and um, just try to help the team win. James, you were great coming into the league as an undrafted free agent. Obviously, really productive for the first two years. Um, <coughs> you know, how are you doing after the setback with the Achilles and the twos? How much are you looking forward to you know, showing everyone that's, you know, that's who you are? Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I mean, coming off the Achilles was, uh, it was a lot of talk of, oh, he's not going to be this, he's not going to be that. But I feel like the start of that year when I came back, I was doing pretty fine and haven't had problems with it since, so. What are your impressions of Mac Jones so far? Great guy, hard worker for sure. Man can run for a long time, <laughs> I'll say that. James, being from Rockford, uh, a lot of Jaguar jerseys when you first signed the league and then the Jets and now with the Patriots, to be able to have that impact on a community like that in Illinois uh, for you to bring a team uh, and some more fans to the team. From Rockford, you said? Yeah. I mean, that, yeah, Rockford, I mean, everyone's going to support. Whoever's from Rockford, you're going to get that support. I mean, it's not, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a small town, but it's, I mean, you're going to get a lot of guys that's going to support you for sure. Tom Brady's going to be honored um, at the home opener. I know you didn't play with him, but um, did you watch him growing up, and do you have any favorite memories of him? Um, I did watch him for sure. I, I mean, I love watching him play. A lot of good comebacks, all, all that kind of stuff. But, I mean, it would be great to see him be an honor, really. So. When you feel like you're playing at your best, what, what do you think you're, you could add to the Patriots' offense? I mean, like I said before, I mean, just really just doing what I can to help the team win. I mean, they've seen me play. You guys maybe see me play. And just trying to bring – what I did in my rookie season here, so. What do you, what do you, what did you say you pride yourself on, like in terms of playing style? I mean, really just get the ball in my hand and just play football. I mean, that's all it is, really. I mean, I don't really get into all the, you know, details and all that, I just play. You're thinking back to this time of your rookie year, going in as an undrafted free agent, to make the team have the season. Um, I, I, I see. I think mine was a little different coming up with the COVID year and everything. Um, I mean, it was just really just know your stuff coming in, and when you get here, play fast. I mean, the more you know, the faster you can play, and that was a big thing for me um, coming in. Um, with the COVID year and everything, we were at home, so it was kind of, I was going through the play, plays, and once I got to Jacksonville, I was just playing fast, and I felt like I knew what I was doing. So I was saying for them, just, like I said, just know what you're doing, and that's the way you're able to play fast, so. 
Yeah. I, say, I know you got 49 passes as a rookie. Just how important is that part of the game to you, the pass catching element? Um, I feel like I do it quite naturally. I mean, when I get the opportunities for that, I mean, I feel like I make the most of them. And I mean, that's about it. Think about Ramon Ray. Great guy. Great guy, yeah. Um, been working out with him here a little bit. Um, I like the way he moves. I mean, being up close and actually see him instead of being across the, on the sideline against him, he moves pretty well. Yeah, he's good. A great guy. You had experience of um, interacting with, with guys here in the past in any prior offense that Daniels led, like James White, some of the, the backs that when he came into the league. Have yeah, I what? Have you interacted, experienced, or you studied those guys at all um, in terms of what the kind of the, the full use of the running back in, in this offense? Um, I mean, just learning the offense here. I mean, I just kind of watched them a little bit, see what they do. I mean, but not that, not as much. James, what was the free agency process like for you, and you know, how did you kind of get to the conclusion to come here? Um, I think it was pretty fun for me. I would say, I mean, just being able to choose again where I can go. Um, I I was just really explain it. I mean, say it was fun. And she coming here was just, like I said before, just I think it was the right fit, me and my age and my, my, my family. We just felt like it was the right fit for me, and we just decided to come here. One of your former teammates in Jackson, Daniel Paul, kind of found his niche. Who? Daniel Paul. Defensive lineman. Defensive lineman. You said he came from Jags? He had been with the Jags briefly. He, he, last year he talked about you. I was going to ask you if you've had any you know, interaction with him, feedback from him in terms of the way No, not, I mean, not, not yet. I mean, it's kind of separated a little bit right now and just kind of coming in and working and stuff like that, but not really. James, is there a running back that you modeled your game after or looked up to growing up? I watched uh, a lot of Marshawn Lynch when I was gr coming up. Um, and, I mean, a lot of guys, Le'Veon Bell, Ezekiel Elliott. I mean, even though once I got in the league, I kind of started working on myself a lot more. But um, coming up, yeah, I watched those guys a lot and trying to just bring some some of their stuff to the game and add it to mine. Like New, like New England, have you gotten out, outside to see like some of the areas around? Anything stand out to you? Um, went up to Boston a couple times, I think. And I mean, it's pretty nice, pretty nice up there. I would say the traffic is caught, got caught in the traffic a couple of times, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate it.